lot of us are quick to run to wheat we are quick to run to potato swallow oat swallow and plantain swallow and all that because what is written on the packages are art friendly low in calories helps you lose weight and high in fiber so because we can see low in calories written on the package oh then this is good for weight loss let me ditch my eba let me ditch my fufu let me ditch my pounded yam and start eating this because it will make me gain weight <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ademide, big sister. <laughs> in today's video, I am going to be talking about um, calories in Nigerian carbs, especially the swallows we take. They're still on dark carbs, okay? But I'm going to be dwelling more on swallows this week. And I'm going to be comparing the calories in the ones you people think are seemingly unhealthy with the ones you think are healthy. If you're trying to lose weight, I'm sure you've heard several times that you should cut off pounded jam, cut off eba, amala, fufu, because they are not good for your weight loss journey. But embrace um, oat flour, embrace potato flour, embrace wheat, pounded potato and all that because they, are, they do not have calories and they will help you lose weight fast. But is that true? Is that true? <laughs> all right let's get right into the video first i want to tell you that there are no bad foods when it comes to nigerian meals and you should try and you should eat as much as you can i'm not saying you should eat in quantity but diversity of varieties of nigerian meals in your calorie in your meal plan if you're trying to lose weight so by the time you have achieved your body goals you know how best these meals can fit into your maintenance goals and you know you're not going to gain weight and that is why i'm here to help you with you know food i'm here to help you with calorie counting details in nigerian meals and all that so let's get right into it the first nigerian meal um swallow i'm going to be talking about is semo i already talked about it in last video and a cup of semo has 600 calories and 129 grams of carbs if i'm making a meal plan for you and okay if i'm making a meal plan for you and a, a one-week meal plan I might not put semo there for you because of its calories and you know i already stated in my last video that if you're trying to lose weight your carb intake should be between 50 to 150 grams because ideally an average 2000 calorie intake should have about 225 to 325 grams of carbs because carbs make up 45 to 65 percent of your daily food intake if you're trying to lose weight you have to up your protein game up your vegetables and fruits and also eat carbs too but because we we hit excess of carbs here and it's really not good for us so we try to limit it and that is by you know knowing the grams of carbs in an average swallow knowing the grams of carbs in one cup of rice one cup of this i've talked about it in the last video so you can go over to check for the ones you know you eat so for Semo, um, Semo has 129 grams of carbs and that is just one cup. So like I said, if I'm trying to make um, a seven day meal plan for you, I might not put it there because of the carb intake. I try to limit people to 50 to 100, at most 150 grams of carbs. And you know, your fruits, your vegetables, they also have carbs too. So we have to calculate everything. And, but if you're making, uh, if I'm making a two weeks meal plan or a one month meal plan for you, your Semo might be there. So. You can say it's not bad, it's just because it's really high. That's why people say, Oh, do not take it. But you now say you know it's semo again. If you're a lover of semo, you eat it now. Yes. So your starch, starch is um one cup of starch has 490 calories. Let me state that all these swallows they are actually really high in carbs. The ones that are actually really noted are the ones that have over 200 grams of carbs in one cup, and that is pound of flour. One cup has 940 calories. Hey and 206 grams of carbs when people say i only eat once a day i just come home to just make my pound of yam and with vegetable soup let me show you the ones they do have you seen the ones they do <laughs> there is really no way you you can lose weight with that so amala has one cup and it's 352 calories note that we are comparing calories gary one cup is 360 calories two shinkafa is made from rice and it's 216 calories Tuwo Masara, I'm, if I'm not pronouncing it well, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure of the pronunciation, at 360 calories. Now let's compare it to the wheat, the oat flour, the 
plantain flour and potato flour we eat when it comes to this plantain flour this oat flour this wheat flour they are healthy but they still have calories so i need to correct the fact that you think they do not have calories they do have calories if you eat them in excess you're going to gain weight and you're just going to be wondering but i'm eating healthy i'm still gaining weight yes you can eat healthy and still gain weight wheat has 455 calories a cup Oat flour has 420 calories and 68 grams of carbs. So your oat, you can't say you're going to stop eating oat flour now because a cup has 420 calories. So if you've been saying, oh, I've been, I'm eating LD and you're eating two cups of oat flour, but you're not losing weight, and now you know that it's because of the quantity you've been eating. Plantain flour, one cup has 390 calories. Potato flour, one cup has 352 calories. I hope this video helps in your weight loss journey. So if you want more details on calories in Nigerian meals, just head over to my Instagram page, Foods and Calories and follow the link is in the description box below and yes please subscribe to my channel like comment share my video to your friends who you think might need this and let everyone achieve their body goals in 2022 cheers to that bye